Uh, thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer. And it's good to know that, uh, as opposed to the Stage 1 debate, uh, where I was the only open debate speaker, I'll have some company uh, this time round. Um, I, I was contemplating, as uh, we were discussing the amendments, uh, and a group of school children uh, came in and had to sit through the discussion of all the amendments, how fine a job we were doing in teaching those young people that politics wasn't in any way dry and boring uh, and dull, uh, as we discussed the finer merits of technical amendments to a taxation policy. But at the same time, it would be fair to say that Gavin Brown, at the very least, did his best to try and inject a little bit of heat into the debate, uh, although I do think uh, he was a little bit uncharitable uh, in his uh, description of how the Finance Committee uh, approached the issue of a grace period, particularly at stage two. Um, there was uh, very clearly uh, stated by the Deputy First Minister and indeed agreed to uh, by Jackie Bailey in her remarks that a grace period was included at stage two. And the Finance Committee only made the recommendation for a grace period and specifically made no recommendation as to the time period for any grace period that was inserted into the bill. And Gavin Brown will recall that we had a long discussion in relation to that at committee. And it was felt that on balance, the best thing to do was to recommend a grace period and allow the Scottish Government to assess what it felt was the most appropriate period for, for that to apply. Now, uh, if Gavin Brown will just give me one second. Um, Gavin Brown is perfectly entitled to disagree with that length uh, of grace period and perfectly entitled to advocate the points that he wishes to do so. But at the same time, he must accept, firstly, that the committee merely recommended a grace period. Secondly, that the Deputy First Minister put forward a grace period, which was voted on at committee and accepted. And thirdly, that there was no duress applied uh, in terms of how the committee members voted. Committee members assessed the options that were in front of them at committee and voted accordingly. 